God, I want to die. Oh, hey. Didn't see there. Oh, hey. Didn't see there. But today we went to our local market and picked some of the freshest produce in our city. Nice smile. Now that we have our ingredients ready, we're ready to do the competition. It's gloves off. Our challenge today will be to make burgers. The, the secret ingredient that Mal had to cook with is mango chipotle tuna. My opponent today, and I'll be pinning, I'll be putting him in tuna. My secret opponent's sneaky ingredient is um, snack pack sauce. It's yellow and lemon. Tuna is always a very good sauce. I like it in my burgers. So what I what I want to do today is like you kind of just have to like stick your fingers in there and just hey, hey. And get the chicken out. Hey. No, you're like your hands might be a little cut up and bruised. It's like it's worth it. And you need to get like every little bit and like. No, no. no. So I'm starting with the crusted chicken tuna patty <coughs> and. My family has had like a, a recipe for hundreds of years where we put this in a bat of boiling water for a minute. Now, in certain countries, water's been su super dry, so I want this to be easeable of access at home. <laughs> burger today I will be using this beautiful high grade basically tartar meat um, and something that I will do is we don't have breadcrumbs because for some reason they didn't have that at our amazing market but it's fine we're gonna improvise so a great a great way to make your own breadcrumbs is just get bread you can break it up really nicely butter too is important butter tastes great on bread um, break it up real nicely fine it's got to be really fine almost basically a grain of sand um, Base, basic grain of sand um, it would, is the measurement you're looking for, which is about one mole. I think it's about a kilojoule per a mole um, would be the regular size of sand. Um, that I, that's science talk, though. That's just science talk. We don't we don't need that. So, as part of your breadcrumbs, you're gonna need to get it in the meat. This meat should have been beaten. It wasn't, which is kind of sad. I'm very surprised. But um, usually this, the meat would come beaten. So in the sense that you do have beaten meat, it will be a lot better and easier to mash. But th I mean, that looks gorgeous for the moment being. Um, basically, basically a chef, basically a chef right there. Um, yeah, so once you really have your breadcrumbs deep in there, you are probably ready to put it on the grill. Um, again, the beating is a very important part. But it's not there. Uh, my 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 special special ingredient for today that I was supposed to use is um snack pack. S sponsored by snack snack pack. Um, so this is a great great delicious delicious item. Terribly easy to open. That's probably my favorite part of it. Um, yeah. Um, it's. It's really easy to get open. Sometimes it's hard to get open. You can do whatever you want with it. Put a hole in it. This, this is a really important part. So my, my stupid opponent thought he was playing me by giving me a lemon snack pack. Lemon's my favorite flavor. It's a snack pack. It's a snack pack. It's two of my favorite things. My favorite things. I got breadcrumbs, a burger, and a snack pack. How could he have played me any worse? He played himself. Doesn't know what he's doing. So obviously, that's just that's a gorgeous neon green color. Gorgeous. Um, so a very important thing is you gotta. So the the problem with the problem with the snack pack 
and the, the one the challenge that it will be is to get it inside the burger so this it can be on the burger but the, a, a smart person would know obviously it's just yogurt it's just it's chamomile tea it's not just gonna stay on the burger and just be there you're gonna have to really get it in that's part of where their beating comes in since we don't have that i'm that's why i'm using my fingers that's why i'm getting in here deep breadcrumbs are soaking it up another point of the breadcrumbs really soaks it up gets it nice and wet boom perfect that doesn't look <laughs> ready to cook if this isn't a masterpiece i don't know what a masterpiece is we already have our butter in the bowl we're just gonna mix it around get it left and right it's more important about the right i think the left for fucking pansies but that's that's completely up to you now boom cook the meat Hey guys, so I'm going to be plating my food. This is, I've been crippled recently by an automotive accident and my hand just got freed. No, it needs to be covered in its juices. Now that's a big whopper. Now, time to add some. Okay, I know what I need to do. So, first, the time will be displayed right there. Now we need a. Now, hold this. You don't need a napkin because you already have one. Um, now, taste it. I just want to tell you now that it's, I want the jury to know that it's 6.45. There, there it is. Sir, would you like to use a table? I'll hold the, the food for you so you can. Now, don't forget to get some tuna on there. Can you stop spraying the juices everywhere? That's some tough meat. Okay, so now, Sarah. I'm tuna. Get the tuna on there. Hey, hey. Tuna on there. That's not enough tuna better. There you go. No, 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 no. There you go. That's a good, that's good. Eat it. <laughs> because you liked it. it. Okay, got our burger out of the pan, ready to go, super cooked. Now, a really cool technique I like to use, a lot of people don't know about it, too cool, too lame, who knows. Um, Ripe banana, I like them green. They gotta be green, it's really important. It keeps the flavor, the sugars are not yet crystallized all the way. It's good for me. So this is a beautiful part of the course. Some people, they said I looked like a toddler when I did this. This is just so people don't choke when they eat their bananas. I don't think it's childish. I think it's just public safety and health. Um, that's obviously something really important that I wanna do. Make sure the bananas are on there good. And this, it goes with the yellow theme. It's a lemon theme, yellow theme. Battery acid, probably be good. Not gonna do that this time. Um, banana, rest of it, don't need it. Probably just as a souffle. Good smear around the plate. Looks like a moon. I'm feeling a cow run over the moon vibe. Again, not, not, not a pedophile. Straight, but gay. Um, yeah. Now it's time for our judge to taste it. Mm. 
Come here, boy. Nice knowing you.